My name is Billy Aarons. I've been playing wiffle ball for about a year now. I am Joey Gallagher, and I've been playing wiffle ball for three years. I'm Jack Scar, I've been playing wiffle ball my entire life. My name is Nick Tassoni, and I've been playing wiffle ball for one year. Uh, I'm Scott Anderson, and I've been playing about uh, three years. My name is Joey Davis. I've been playing for 14 and a half years. Uh, my name is Gareth Elkins. Uh, I've been playing wiffle ball for about five, six years. Uh, well, basically wiffle ball, I mean, started a little before 2013. It, um, I started playing with my friends a few times in the backyard, you know, we kind of just throw the ball around. Uh, but really what it transpired to was in the 2013, um, a group of us, mainly Jack Scar, Joey Davis, Jack Shields, kind of came together and we thought that, what if we made this league? And we formed the Knights, the Spartans, and the Panthers out of those three captains. We actually played every single day. Like we, every day at 10 a.m., all got up. We played from 10 to noon, and then we went and got lunch at Dairy Queen. Our starting roster was Danny Jacobson, uh, Chris Durkin, and Matt Valiga, and myself. I'd summarize it as a whole as just a bunch of friends with good intentions trying to come together, having a fun time. As time moved on, I realized that a positive mindset and when we were in the middle of a game, say if we were down and thinking about the positive in a game was more important than actually having like the most talent. Why did you cut Chris Durkin? Because he's a f So the old field, uh, Cloud Elementary School, it's, I mean, it's a rugged field. It's very reminiscent of the Sandlot. The old wiffle ball field to me resembles just great uh, times I'll probably remember for the rest of my life. We would fix it up, we would play all our games that day, and it, Clow was symbolic of us as a group because it was the thing that we all could connect with because we all loved wiffle ball so much. Clow was kind of torn down almost. I mean, they took the backstop off now. Uh, the field is now kind of like in poor condition. There's no almost no dirt left because the grass keeps growing. It's not really being attended by the Wheatland Association, I think, that owns it. I think I'm definitely going to remember how we bonded together as friends. Not really generally like one game, like Billy said, but just wiffle ball as a whole and how well we connected together and how much fun we had. It's not all about just playing the game and winning or losing. It's about hanging out with your friends and making memories and creating new bonds that will last a lifetime. And in 40 years, you're going to look back and say, that's where we used to play wiffle ball. That's where I spent my childhood, and that's where I spent my summers. That's a great thing. In the 2013 league, everybody was in it to win it. You know, there was there was some fun. There was some like friend like, like some friendly competition, but it was a lot more like in the like, it was a lot more heated. As we've transitioned into this new wiffle ball that we play, it's a lot more set in stone and less controversy, lots more fun. And we carried. Um, some of those things we did to the Clow field over to Jack's backyard. And Jack, I mean, props to him because, I mean, he just went all out. He put that huge net. He formed a strike zone. He established, like, rules that make sense and are fair to everyone, I think. You don't need two hands to swing a wiffle ball bat. You can get just as much power uh, swing the bat with one hand as you can with two. Well, uh, my favorite position to play is probably pitcher. Um, I'm not really great at pitcher, to be honest, um, but I, I love, uh, you know, throwing balls in there, <laughs> trying to... <laughs> God. I just went off the first game and hit like three home runs. When you, when you hit a home run, just the way that it feels, like the way that you can feel the ball coming off the bat, and like, it's just, there's no real, real way to describe it. You just have to experience it. My favorite part about wiffle ball is basically just like being around my friends. It's really an escape for me, uh, stress-wise, you know, with school, with my job, and like, it's somewhere I can go to with all my friends and really just have a good time. And I'm the best pitcher, I'm the best all-around hitter, I'm the best all-around player. And just being the best feels good. I would not say Joey is the best player in the league. He's never done anything right in wiffle ball. That's just guys being dudes. 
wiffle ball going from childhood to adulthood is it's it's a sad thing but it's also an awesome thing because i can look back for the rest of my life and say i had these group of people and they were funny and weird and some of them were terrible at wiffle ball but it wasn't about the wiffle ball it was about having fun with your buddies it was about childhood it was about the summer and we loved it Worst player? Easily George Oliver. By far George Oliver. I'd say George Oliver is the worst wiffle ball player. Probably George Oliver. George Oliver. It's George. George just flat out sucks. <laughs> Who's that tall kid? George? That's the one. He's not very good. <laughs>